Ciao, everybody. Welcome back to the Bianca Neri Zone. It is podcast time, season two of our Bianca Neri Zone podcast. My name is Julian Gennady, and with me, as always, is Alejandro Fancello. My guy, what's going on? Good. Suffering You're good? Almost over. Suffering yeah. is almost over. Um, at the time of recording, we have one game left, and that's a, a game that doesn't means absolutely nothing. It's match day 38 against Udinese. Um, before we get into the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be discussing today, a little bit of an agenda. We're going to be talking about potential rumors and a big week coming up after the final match day. So basically, I'm not going to say the final meeting with the coach and the management, like Allegri and the management. Well, it might be the final meeting. We'll just put it out there. Um, what's potentially coming after that? Obviously, the rumor mill is swirling for outgoings right now. Incomings, we have no idea, but we'll discuss it r- regardless. And basically, UEFA taking a fat dump on us again and continuously taking fat dumps on us. Um, but before we get into that, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <laughs> nice. Remember it during or at the beginning yeah. of this time. Um, <laughs> So that's good. Um, Ali, how's it going? Because I'm, I'm dying of heat over here. I, it's global warming. Actually, yeah, it's not <laughs> uh, very warm, but it's it's like 24 degrees, but it's very, how do you say that? Um, not, it, not feels, w- it feels warm. It feels oh, okay. like it's pushing 30. Oh, it's so humid. It's not fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's humid. It's not fun. Uh, but it's not that hot, to be honest. Wow. Actually, I was in Lisbon, and it was. That's right. How's your trip? Then it was colder than over here. Wow, that's insane. It was. Yeah. It was good, but yeah, it was good. It started off bad, but it was good. All right. You don't want to get into details about why it was bad. They forgot the the lo- one luggage at the airport. Ah, uh-huh, that's the worst. <laughs> Who'd you fly and, with? Uh, you gonna cuss anybody out? It. It was. I don't know. It's TAC, it's a Portuguese Portuguese uh, airlines. They sure. forgot it. <laughs> and actually they brought it back the next day but the hotel management made a mistake so they couldn't link us link it to our room so we uh, got it back five minutes before we left oh um that's a yeah, small win at was, least yeah it was back but we needed to get a new luggage new clothing well we oh insur- yeah insurance true. so it's all yeah. fine but we wasted like a half like half a day Getting clothes, yeah. clothing. Not for me, but for my girlfriend. My luggage was, had arrived, was there. <laughs> but again, it's insurance. Dude, it, People get if insurance. It, if it was your luggage, it would have been so much easier because you say, "Hey, give me a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. I'm okay." But because it's a girl, obviously. Yeah, actually, we went, ba- <laughs> we went back to next the following day to get more, and I was like, "Yeah, we wasted it a couple of times." The good thing is, it's back, and when we return, we will get some more benefits because we were yeah. planning to return yeah but the hotel was giving us more benefits for next time because perfect it's, it's a great city actually yeah when we were out getting clothes clothing we step out of the metro station the first thing you saw was the benfica stadium just in front oh of that's it. nice and i was like man they play they play their title game so i looked for tickets but it was sold out obviously oh, yeah because they want to see the parade and all that stuff the trophy and the the bad thing was our hotel was around the corner of the square where ah. the celebration was. So it was yeah. all locked off the the day they played. So you yeah. couldn't go outside basically that evening because it, it was madness. Unless you <laughs> wanted to join them. Yeah. but Did you have actually, any right? <laughs> No. I, the funny thing is my girlfriend was wearing green. And oh, <laughs> someone no. at the hotel was like, don't, don't, don't do that today. Yeah. So don't, we don't be sporting today. Yeah. New clothes. <laughs> yeah, but actually it was well organized. I was I was shocked. You know? oh, that's good. Uh, it was all set up. Yeah. Police checks uh, to get to know to not get weird weird stuff into the crowd. Actually, yeah. I was surprised. But yeah, huh. that was that. Oh, huh. it's good. Sounds like a nice uh, nice experience minus the luggage. But then you got insurance, which is the main point of this uh, <laughs> travel insurance, and we we move on. So that's good to hear. Um, I don't know if people are keeping track, but I actually got a haircut. I don't know if people. <laughs> yeah, I did last week, if, and if, it's already back. Yeah, so. if you're watching on YouTube, um, I think this is the only place you can listen to us, right? You didn't set up that. No, a lot of people are asking for Spotify, and I might 
drop the podcast starting from next season. Oh, um, season three. It, t- Ooh. <laughs> it takes time to upload them on uh, yeah. Spotify, but I might start with uploading all podcasts because a lot of people are asking for it. So I might I might do that. Yeah. Well, it's less data, right? If you if you're out and about on the go. It's less data. It's easier. Yeah, yeah it's easier. Yeah. You can download them as well, unless yeah, yeah. you have YouTube Premium and stuff. Yeah. But for me, it's it's more work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's all. Well, that's what you have to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's get into it now. Let's get into what we're actually the Juventus talk, the boring stuff, because the season's been a complete turd. Um, whatever you want to describe it in a negative way, you can describe it. Nobody cares about match day thirty eight. Everyone cares about the day that Monday after what happens after and from what I've been reading from what you've your Twitter account has been uh, retweeting and, and reporting there is a meeting with Allegri and the management after now the uh, thumbnail of this on YouTube is Vincenzo Italiano and what I read about that one is he has a one-year club option so club, not his option. It's a club option from Fiorentina for a one-year renewal. I would assume the club's going to say, yeah, renew. <laughs> um, because he's been quite good for them. Um, what do you make of that situation? Because Camiso's not going to let us hire him if they renew him for another year. I don't think. Unless we pay a, pr- a premium for a coach. Yeah. I th- I'm assuming there's also some clause because I don't think he's going to let him walk to Napoli as well. Yeah. Um, but besides Italiano, or even if it's him or Tudor or Paladino or I don't know, whatever name Take is your out pick. there. Who, Mota, yeah, whoever. <laughs> yeah, just name the name. Um, I think the meeting news, like the news flipped in two weeks. Like, yeah. From, like, it flipped from out to in to out to in. Yeah. So... I'm assuming nobody knows. Yeah, the only course. thing that's kind of for certain is maybe when two months ago it was set in stone that he's going to say it's not set in stone now, basically. That's what I made yeah. of all the rumors. Like it's not 100% he's going to say. Because the meeting, like, I, the story today was funny. I left. When I saw it, I, I first left, then I tweeted it out because you, you cannot sit down with Allegri and be like, this is it, you know, we're going to lose player A, B, C, D. You're going to get player, you know, F, J, K. Pl- players uh, who are do, worse do, than what you're losing. Yeah. <laughs> do you see doing well with it? Yes. And you can say, like, you cannot do that as management. <laughs> like, also, time you, out. He literally cannot because he literally said this squad currently cannot win. That's that's what <laughs> I was going at, you know. I think on Sunday. He lost his I couldn't mind. Believe, I couldn't believe because... I watched the game. I actually stayed in the hotel to watch that game. I did. And God afterwards, bless you. We, I watched it too. We went, <laughs> we went out. I, I said I was not going to watch it, but it's yeah. stronger than myself. So I did. And afterwards, I, um, we went out and my phone was going off because I was getting notifications on the presser. Yeah. I couldn't believe what he said. I actually couldn't believe what he said because for a minute, I thought I was supporting Cremonese yep. and not Juve. Like I was like, I was like, no, surely this is not has not been said, right? I think it's like clickbait or whatever. Somebody put it out there for a joke and yeah. it got you know spread. And I looked it up and he actually said it. And I was like, that's crazy because a few months ago you said you should be competing for a title and you brought in players you wanted. So he hand he said that I, he handpicked these yeah. players. <laughs> Like I said, it, um, I did a live a couple of hours ago. I'm like, you cannot go back into the locker room next season and motivate these players when no. you said they're kind of crap. Like They're not yeah. good enough. You cannot go back and be like, come on, boys, we go again. I think a lot of those players will look at you and be like, nah, man. Yeah. Like, th- this is not going to happen. It's not gonna happen, and you can feel it. Like it became, it became toxic when he called out Chesney. Yeah, people who, who people thought, renewed another year. Yeah, which uh, I don't have a problem. Like Wade I have no problem with that it, either. But like, I think he, I think he's. I don't know why this has been a debate for so long, but whatever. Um, 
but he called him out, Chess. And when he did that, people thought I was overreacting. He was taking shots at him. Like yep. he was like he was basically saying he's not he doesn't know what he's talking about. His yeah. Italian is kind of crap. And he was kind of using his Italian as a cover up for yeah. telling him to shut up and not speak his mind. I, like when he, what he said on Sunday, I'm like, yeah, that that's it. Like if there were any doubts with one or two persons in the match, even the reports about certain persons in the management are not sure. I'm like, who? It's yeah. Calvo and it's Alcon. Like who's out there? There's nobody. There's nobody like there's Ferrero literally. and Scanavino shouldn't have a say because they They're are bankers people. and lawyers. Like yeah. it's Alcon, and even he's not a football people, but he's he's the guy. So like he owns the club basically. So I get that you will have a say in it, uh, but even that I do not prefer. I prefer people who have knowledge of it to make a choice. Yeah. So I don't like even the stories. They don't add up. They don't really add up. So Monday, I don't think they're gonna say. This is what is going to happen because Allegri knows what's going to happen with the squad. Like, he's not an idiot. Yeah. Like, it's pretty obvious. I think Monday is a talk about, <clears throat> please, let's find an agreement to part ways. Yeah. In my opinion. That's just what I believe. I've, I've said this in January. They will find an agreement to just walk away from this all, all this. Because I have no... Like, people in the comments, let me know how this can continue. With all the things he said, with a squad that will get worse you probably quality wise um i I don't see it i I don't see i I don't see how he can continue i I just don't um ever since he he's basically lost the plot in the media i'm siding more and more with you (laughs) because this past couple of weeks like his after game stuff is it's a circus like on the field it was a circus now off the field what he's saying is a circus and it doesn't make much sense. It doesn't corroborate what he was saying throughout the season. Usually you knew exactly what he was saying. You, you knew what he was going to say after games. Oh, we have this many points and we on the field, we get top four, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We're good or we're a good team. Um, but now he's saying, I don't have the team to compete. And if you look across Serie A, how is Lazio, who on the field is better than you in terms of point tally? right now how 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 do you say that? how like how do you keep saying that stuff i don't understand so i i agree with you he is on his way out like he has to be just take your pay and, and get the fuck out <laughs> when he said what what did he say that was in particular like damning um on sunday yeah he said what did he say he said juventus or juventus is a family i could have won oh, somewhere said- else if I or wanted something. to win, I went some somewhere yeah. else. If I wanted to win easy, yeah. I went somewhere else. But this is a family. I'm like, yeah. It sounds sounds like you don't want to deal with pressure, expectation. I don't know. It came across as very. Like, it was strange. It was a strange thing to say. And like, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. The only explanation that I have for him saying these things is that he knows he's gone. Yeah. And he's trying to cover his ass basically saying hey it's not me but then again he never he always <laughs> he never said this is on me in two yeah. years time but if like especially on sunday it felt like he knew he's gone yeah and he's trying to cover his ass because he said like after sevilla it was done yeah uh, and although like i don't know um it feel, it, it's strange like the only way out of this out of this is him leaving at this point yeah that's that, can, that's what, that's what I was trying to say. I was like, you cannot put him in front of those same players again because it's there not is gonna... there is going to be a lot of roster turnover. But those remaining players like Locatelli, like Shezny, like Danilo, like Bremer, like those guys are going to come back and say, "Hey, Max, are we going to win this year?" <laughs> like you know, you know what the weird uh, with what also is very significant is Chesney, Bonucci, even Bonucci. A lot of players came out saying. Like two years without a trophy, this is not okay. Like, yeah. No matter what the situation is, it's unacceptable for a club of this magnitude. And then you have the coach saying they're not good enough to win. Yeah. I think even the players are like, we are. Like we can win. Like yeah. that's not the issue. And I believe we could have won a Coppa Italia, even the Europa League. I watched it on uh, on Wednesday. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, terrible. Like <laughs> we were bad, but like, come on. Like yeah. Those were two teams were very. Like especially Roma, Dybala went off. There's absolutely no quality in that team. 
like and whatsoever. Like it's nothing. Like you can win stuff. I think even the players are like we we're not that bad. Like we're yeah, we probably know we're not gonna win a Champions League, but I think they know or they feel like we can do much better than this. Yeah. Um. And somebody told me, oh, why are they not doing better? I'm like, that it's not that simple. Like <laughs> you cannot play good for 38 games based on vibes. Like you yeah. still need direction and all those things. Like just encouragement. Yeah. Proper like, encouragement. You cannot, you cannot yeah. go out there and just <clears throat> tell each other what to do. Eleven players and it will work for an entire season. Like you need to be co- coached. Yeah. But I I do believe, especially Chesney, those players. I think they believe they they have a better squad than well, the Lake is telling us. <laughs> that's but for sure. I think that's obvious. I said it, yeah, I said it. When people said Milan have a better squad, I no said, chance. I, I'll, I'll stand by it. They don't. They don't. They might have I'm sorry. one better, like, superstar. But other than they that... They have some good players, yeah. but, like, squad-wise, no. Like, Purely doesn't even use that squad. And when he used Aster Franks and Origi and... De Catalar. The kid, even Salama, because, like, yeah. oh, come on, man. Uh, you just need all Belgians. <laughs> Yeah, they're crap. <laughs> like, <laughs> but all of them, like name, even Calabria, like uh, these are captain, bro. Player. Yeah, which is sad. It's like again, it's I'm Danilo Milan being player. our captain. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Only I think Danilo is playing at a better level. But what the point is? Yeah, I think the squad is was good enough to not have zero shots on target in the semi final away to Inter when you needed a goal. Yeah. To bottle, uh, in my opinion, bottle uh, semi final because you did nothing at home against Sevilla and away from home, you collapse completely yep. out of nowhere again. And it happened a lot of times. And when it happens once, I'm like, okay, weird. I don't know how to explain it. But when it happens more often, That's I a can coaching explain thing. it. It's I a can coaching explain thing. it. Yeah. Because I've watched, you watched uh, Roma. Yep. That first half. How many crosses did they have? Two? Three? Max? Not 30. No. Nope. <laughs> whatsoever. Like, it wasn't like that. So, it is cool. Okay, at the end, they lost. You know, whatever. But, I don't know. I I still believe there's more in this team. Oh, maybe not next season. Not next season, uh, depending. dude. Depending. We're going to get into that, but next season's going to be fucking who, bad. Depending on who will leave. Because you can say Di Maria's leaving. Eh, he's been crap. He's been, been fucking crap. horrible. You can yeah. say if I would just been crap, he's leaving, so it's okay. But you still need to replace those players, and that's yeah. my biggest fear. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the coaching thing again. You can pick option A, B, C, D, E, R, X, or whatever. I don't know why I said E, X, E, R, F. Um, like, like you said, Italiano, Tudor, for whatever reason, Sergio Conceição from Porto, um, Palladino, uh, Conte. Anybody, in my opinion, is like even I, I put Conte in there. Anybody is an improvement on Max Allegri because it's a fresh set of eyes and it's a fresh voice. And yeah, it feels like everybody's tired. Yeah. I don't want to, like, if Italiano comes, I still think Dusan Vlavic is, is gone. Like, in my mind, that guy's gone. He's gone. We need money. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter who the coach is, it, it's done. Yeah. Like, he's gone. That's what I mean. Like, even if Allegri, like, it has nothing to do with Allegri at this point. It probably did up until a certain point, but, like, he's gone regardless because he's the sacrificial lamb. Um, yeah. And we just, and we have to accept that at this point. <laughs> like, we can't be we mad. Well, not, that. we can be mad. We can't be mad at Blavich, is my point. Like, I last think... year, last year there was vitriol with the lit because a, he said a bunch of shit and he left, whatever. I, I wasn't mad at the lit because he was right. <laughs> But Vlavic, it's a different story. You don't get money. You got to sell the big dog. Peace. I don't think, I think Vlavic is per- perfectly fine with staying, but I think, yeah, yeah. I think we just, I think the club needs to sell. And I, like, he's not opposed to leaving, if you know what I mean. Maybe, yeah, no, exactly. Weird. Yeah. But if no. we were in a good situation, I don't think he was leaving. No, for but sure. We if, need Allegri, to sell. if Allegri was gone and we were in Europe or whatever, or, or if we had enough money, he'd stay. I believe so as well. I, yeah. I do, actually, because I, not like the lake. I actually think he didn't saw view this as a stepping stone. Yeah, going off what he said or his managers. Like with the lake situation, we knew what, what was yeah. going to happen at one point. 
Vlaovic never, you know, but yeah. he's gone and I'm actually pissed. Like it's sad. It shouldn't I, be I've, ending like this. Yeah, I've already been over it for a while because I knew in like. Yeah, I'm like yeah. over with it, but like, I I know what's gonna happen when he goes to Bayern, and that pisses me off. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And then you see reports like again, this is all rumors. Nothing, no incomings are happening until you get a sporting director, like a proper one, and a new coach. Also, that's why, like, if Lavo just link, but you see no price tag because. No one I think knows. Klopp's cold, and yeah. I think Calvo said, well, I cannot give you a price tag. Exactly. Until maybe in two weeks' time, then you can call back. Exactly. As of now, it's, you can talk, you can show interest, but as of now, you just need to hold that's why. That's why he's on everyone's lists, but yeah. there's no like concrete talks, and everyone keeps reporting that. Well, it's obvious. Is Calvo's not going to... You can't use transfer market anymore, so you can't use that price tag. <laughs> so... We'll see. Um, but Bayern will pull their pants down again, if it is Bayern. Oh, yeah, for sure. They'll pull their pants down. And it's not even going to be Sal Hamidzic this time. It's going to be not even Rumenega because he's not the guy. I, I don't know who they're hiring at this point. But they're, they'll hire some guy. They'll send him to Torino for the first time. They'll take a tour. They'll say, yeah, Vlavic, come with us. 60 mil. And, and you will have people saying, oh, but it's a profit on the books. Yeah, they'll like say that. With the leg. <laughs> uh, and then... And then we'll have um, our new guy. If it's Gentoli, it's Gentoli. I have no idea because he said yes, but De Laurentiis said no. Or, yeah, I think so too. But like, I don't think I don't think outcome went full in all the chips yeah. down on him and with no how do you want to say that? No backup. Not being one hundred percent sure. Yeah. Like yeah, because there's no backup. Yeah, it's him. So you know, it, it's okay. all him. And. This is going to put a damp or uh, what do you want to call it? a stall on our market because yeah. we don't know when he's coming. He's not, and his first day, he's not going to sell Vlavic. <laughs> like, he's not going to go into his office. Fucking John Tolley opens his door, or picks up the phone from Byron, and say, Yeah, you, you, want, you want Vlavic? Okay, 80, 80 mil. He's not going to sell the first day. So then that pushes watching, back our whole market. I was watching a Romeo Gressi stream a couple yeah. hours ago. And he said he said the same thing. He said, "It's it's Chuntoli. Like Alcon said, it's yeah. him. Okay. It needs to be him." And they already had talks about managers and all that stuff. They already ha- had talks with it. Like new coaches. Uh, yeah, it's like oh, just sick. in general. And Chuntoli is more for a change. Yeah. But he's not. He said he's not willing to come in and burn stir, everything down. Stir the pot. Yeah. yeah. So it needs to be a, a, like an. an a decision in agreement with all the rest not him coming in and be like allegri's gone and all the rest is like we were not planning to do this so that's what it is basically but he is for change so i think even if juntli is not in place surely they already talked with him in terms yeah. of we need to sell flowage that's probably what's coming in that's what we can spend what about coaching this because you cannot bring him in 15th of june because according to Romeo, most things will be resolved by then and then be like, okay, now we're going to sit back, sit down with our new coach who yeah. doesn't even know the squad, you know, personally yeah. and be like, what are we going to do? Because a month after that, we, we go on tour and a month after that, the season starts. So yeah. I think talks have already been taking place or like in which direction we want to go, in my opinion. But again, no price and all those things. The saving grace for Vlavic thing, like, and the, I put this at a low percent of him staying is that Napoli's president, or De Laurentiis, actually doesn't allow Giuntoli to leave for whatever reason. <laughs> and then we have to, yeah. and then we have no one, and we have to take our time, and then there's just no time to sell. I think if, if that happens, I think just Cal- Calvo will just take on that role. Uh, you think, and then the he'll summer. just sell them? Oh, that's the that's Yo, worst case scenario he, then. They will ship, they will ship him uh, somehow. But I think if that is what's going to happen, I think Calvo will step in and do... Like then, take on then, this job for like a se- for a summer. Then that is the worst case scenario if that's the case. Yeah, because I, I Napoli play like Napoli is now doing the we need to resolve the coach situation because Spalletti is gone. Um, so they want Gentoli to I, pick their next coach. No, they want to like he doesn't want like basically the one doesn't want to say goodbye and. He, he tells the players or like the city basically we have no coach and no sporting director we have nothing okay. so 
but I think agreement will be found after the season, surely. Uh, okay. Because I mean, <laughs> it's kind of obvious which direction this is going. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen a club playing hardball for <laughs> a sporting director. I, I, I never. Yeah. Because like um, that's a job you're probably like, yeah. I mean, you're free to like. It's not a transfer fee. It's not involved. Like, if you know what yeah. I mean, like it's not like you grown ass man. Like it's very strange to tell juntily you cannot leave but make this seem better yeah i don't know like the relationship is kind of weird in my yeah, opinion, yeah. But. no you're right same with north american sports hockey yeah, just you can, I think uh, there was a hockey incident that happened this past week same idea general manager left went to a new team he's like now i'm not signing here blah 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 new team i'm here <laughs> and nobody can really stop you um so we know that bomb's coming eventually, Vlavic gone. And there's going to be probably 75% of the fan base are going to be rattled. The other 25 are going to be like, yay. I think <laughs> it's more, yes. I, I, let's say 40% is going to be yay. Because yeah? Like 20% actually believes Vlavic is crap. The other 20% just backs whatever the club does. Oh, he doesn't want to stay. Just sell him. You know, they will flip it. You know how it works. And so, no... I've always been the proponent of, I know he's leaving, but I've known this for months. It was some, like, I've told you this. Like, the lit last year, I knew he was gone. <laughs> Everyone was like, yeah, he's going to stay. I, I knew he was he was gone. He was checked out. I had the same feeling with Vlavic. Um, even before the points penalty, even be, like, the way it was just, the season was going. I know how, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, when Emotional. He is yeah. on the like you know like he just wants to win, score, do everything. Like he had no joy on the field here. Every time he scored a goal, it was like, "Oh, I proved you right," or "I proved myself right." You know what I mean? It was like he yeah. wasn't happy yeah. when he scored. He was just like, "I did it. I'm I'm like, I'm defying the odds here," and that's no way to play. He's gonna go to Bayern. He's gonna score thirty league goals, or he'll go to the Premier League and he'll get heckled. <laughs> Because he's not felt, scoring 30 league goals. It felt, like I, I think I said it before, it felt like he was doing a, a 9 to 5 job where you're like, yeah. oh, man, I need to go to work. Like, yeah. usually if you play football, you're not, oh man, I need to go play football. Like, it's, yep. it's fun. <laughs> like, and maybe you, people are watching, you absolutely love your job, but I, I think a lot of people are not happy to wake up in the morning or like yeah. jumping to wake up. But it felt like that, you know. For him, yeah. especially, also uh, some other players, but for him especially, maybe Di Maria towards the end, <laughs> like he he doesn't, uh, yeah. he didn't feel happy to play at all, and he made that very obvious yeah. on the pitch. Oh, 100 like, percent. It was very obvious. Well, so I think a, a good portion of the fan base will be a lot of people in the com in the comment section are like, yeah, he's not good, sell him, happy, he's gone, um, good, but the the issue is we are left with Milik and Keane, or like just Keane. Keen at the moment. <laughs> Keen, because Milik is not even our player still. Yeah. So, Keen and Kudrig. Yeah, I don't Keep your I, eyes I, out I, for Kudrig. I saw I saw um, I saw a debate on social media be like and I don't think people grasp the the situation. Because they're like, oh he's gone, whatever, you know, eighty mil. That gives us thirty mil for this, twenty mil. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. That's not how it works now. That's not how it works now because we lost up to yep. 100 mil to cover wages, costs, and all those things. Do you remember what happened in that, like from two that years 80 ago? mil? From from that 80 mil, you might get 25 at max. You yep. will get to. It's not like the league left, but you are in the Champions League, so you get Premier. Yeah, like, it wasn't, it's not money it wasn't in, money like out. That. It's not like this this season unless they have a pot of gold. We have no idea about. Like, yeah. and they're like, here we go. Let's go. Remember when Inter had to sell Hakimi and Lukaku and they yeah. got nobody in? <laughs> Sorry, they got obviously they got a couple, of, but like nobody of like stature in. Blavic yeah. out, you're gonna, but you might see the Graka play and you might get some random guy from freaking Norway. Um, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. And not, not Hoyland but... or whatever, not not Hoyland, the uh, Atalanta guy. I'm not saying him because he's not coming. <laughs> Yeah, not for that money. I don't think he's he's going anywhere for that price. Hey, you'll get but, you'll get Skamaka on loan, let's say. So, things like that. I'm not even. 
I'm not even waiting for big players. I just want yeah. smart signings. Yeah. Like signings with an idea behind, yep. if if you know what I mean. Like Parisi but you need a coach a player first. with an idea. Yeah. Like players like Parisi, that's a player with an idea behind. Yep. You know, I can see, okay, I get it. That that's that's fine. You know. Um but of course you need a coach, obviously. Um and it needs to I'll put this out there. If you have Max Allegri next year, if he stays, he, he's going to play that stupid three five one two or whatever, three five one one. If you get two door, he's going to play three at the back, three four two one. If you get Conte, he's going to play three five two. Like he, you need to identify the coach so you can get the right players in, and you cannot miss now. Remember, you kept saying for a while you cannot miss on these incomings because yeah. money's tight. That that sentence, that statement, has been never more clear now you cannot mess yeah. around it, need, it needs all it, it kind of needs to be perfect whatever it, you it needs to be perfect because, and it's not going to be easy with almost no money i said it like you need to do locatelli type of deal, deals and get them for free and pay one euro <laughs> and then the option kicks in if he touches grass in, in the following yeah. season like you need to do those type of deals yeah with clubs who probably need money as well so it's it's absolutely not going to be easy that's when when i read stuff like you might need to sell junior and all those players i'm like you you probably you you no <laughs> like these are the type <laughs> players you need for your rebuild no yeah. cheap very cheap you, like the the money you paid to get him was close to nothing the money he's earning is close to nothing these are the players that you need to yeah. get this rebuild. And I'm not saying get 20 players on half a million no. costing 1 million. Like, I'm not saying that I, 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 I get you need some sort of quality and, you know, uh, maturity in that team. But these are the type of players you cannot lose whatsoever. Like, you just can't. Yeah. I'd rather sell a keen, like, I don't know, like, uh, I'd rather sell a different type of player than junior in my opinion, because you have longevity in him. And if he doesn't want to say, you can still get the money from the Premier League. But if you play Kostic over him, there's no value in Kostic anymore. No. Like it, 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 he will run down his contract and that's it, basically. You know? And it was only three years, uh, so that's fine. Yeah. So, I, I, and I, I get that, but like, even Alexandro, like, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, you're cutting costs. You tell him to leave. Pay him out. Whatever. Yeah. Find an agreement and tell him to leave. Bring the guys in you already have. Come yeah. So, you paid, I don't know how many, much eight money. Mil. 11? 8 mil? I thought it was 11. 8, eight. whatever. 8. He's on cheap wages. Play him. Use yep. him. Try to use him. Rovella, he's your player. You're going to need to use him. Gatti was your player. Use him. Um... I think that that's what you need to do now. Yeah. But you need to obviously get rid of those players. But I, I don't know. Like players are walking, so you need to replace him them no matter what. Well, let's let's run through the list right now that are definitely gone. Di Maria is definitely gone. You save what seven mil, whatever comes off the books. Rabio is also seven mil. Um, Paredes is also seven mil. So that's twenty one million in wages, gone. Obviously, you add Ravella to replace Paredes. He's on, I have no idea how much money Ravella's on, probably peanuts. Um, but you do have to replace Rabio and you do have to replace Di Maria. If you think Sule is the replacement for Di Maria, also, I, you know, apparently I noticed, not. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> apparently, he doesn't play for the Argentina national or U20s either in a big game. Oh, apparently, he plays number number eight now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently, he's a Mazzala now. Wow. So. Didn't know that. <laughs> whatever um but sule apparently he played in 19 games this year did you know that yeah i'm not gonna <laughs> like, i had minutes. no idea nine yeah. appearances or 19 appearances i i thought it was like six yeah but like he like significant minutes was yeah Ferona, not like, no, i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying 19 wow it's a good thing i'm like 19 i had I would never. Have yeah, <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was less. I thought it was like thirteen or something. Yeah, uh, but uh, like real minutes to show. Something. He can. He can knock on loan next year. 
I'm sorry. No, at this like, point, you, <laughs> you can't. Like you need yeah. you need players. Like yeah. it's. So who did I say like was gone? Dislike him. Who, I said De is definitely gone. Rabio is definitely gone. Pred is definitely gone. Those aren't sales. Those are just players leaving. Rabio, no transfer fees. No transfer fees. Those are just salaries out the out the door. The players, oh, Quadrado, we still have no idea. Like, he could be gone. He could stay. But I'll I'll put him in the outgoing right now because he doesn't have a contract. We'll put we'll do that. Um, Milik, we have no idea. It's probably going to be yes, which is sad, but it is what it is. And is that it? We're missing someone. No players. No, those are the players for certain well, gone yeah. or like not ours. Yeah. As of okay. Now. As of now, then you look at players who got renewed. Sandro got renewed. Chesney got renewed. Pinsolio got re but whatever. He got renewed. Okay. You're selling Vlavic. Is that enough money to combat whatever you're losing? No. Or does someone else have to go? Um. Maybe. Maybe or his no wage, Europe. What, what's his way? Thinner squad. What what's his wage? Twelve mil. Gross. Yeah. 12 yeah. Mil. So twelve mil plus. Byron, if they pull their pants down, 60 mil, 72 mil, or 60 mil, let's say. Is that enough to combat our losses? No, but I think the squad will be thinner with no Europe. Yeah. Because we will not play in the Conference League. If Hopefully, they will ban us. And I hope so, too. Season because we're so screwed too. for two seasons. So, I hope they ban us because they are going to ban us. And you yeah. need to hope it's this season. Yeah. Uh, because I don't think they can be like you're in now and next season you're out because that club will 100% appeal that higher yeah. up and it will take time. Uh, I don't think that time, the time UEFA has to put everything yeah. on hold. <laughs> so I think it will be now and thank God, no conference league. Yeah. I don't want to hear, oh, it's good for the kids experience. It's not, it's crap. No, it's not. You're going, you're going to get hurt. on crappy pla yeah. places, pitches, like synthetic grass and all that garbage Bullshit. yeah it's 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 garbage and the squad will be thinner so maybe yeah. we don't need to replace all of them i don't think I don't we know. will replace think... all of them i was gonna say i don't think we do because you know europe you don't need a 20 man squad but then again the injuries we have you might say allegri is possibly gone so is his fitness <laughs> team who have so thank God. done <laughs> one of the worst jobs i've ever seen they're terrible at their jobs um yeah. Because even Bremer, who never picked up injuries, is becoming injury prone now. Yeah. Uh, for some reason. So, um, but the, the squad will be thinner. One hundred percent sure. Yeah. One hundred percent. So maybe we don't need to like Rovella comes in for Rabio. And not, Paredes, like, like, he, but like yeah. I think it will be like that. I think Miretti will absolutely not be loaned out. No. Because it makes no sense for the club to loan him out and then get somebody else in. Like it's yeah. not gonna happen. No. Um, Cambiasso replaces DeShilio for now because DeShilio's on the hospital bed. Yeah, it, it, it will be like these type of deals. Yeah, I think we will make a signing or two because we need to. Um, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be signings um, because you you don't have an option. Like you, you do, like you need one or two signings just. Number wise, they're not going to fill the squad with under 23s, they're not going to do that because yeah. no coach coach is coming in, like nobody's going to do that. Not even Tudor is going to play with Barbieri and Barnicea for the season. Like, oh, he's not Barbieri, gonna Barbieri sucks anyway. He's not going to attach his name to that, like, because that's kind of suicide. Uh, but with signings, I mean, if Fratesi, like, if you're hyped about it, whatever, but like these type of players, Skamaka on loan, you know, like yeah. these type of things. They will happen, yeah. Because you, you, but it won't be. Uh, it's not Sergey Milinkovic Savage. It, it, yeah, it won't be Savage, uh, unless Lotito's like, yeah, give us twenty five mil and Pellegrini. Then yeah. maybe it will be Savage. It better be Savage if that's a deal they offer you. But that's crazy if they do. But yeah. that's that's probably not gonna happen. No, but not again, this year. I I fully understand what's happening with the club now. Yeah. So I can everyone should kinda... probably understand. Everyone's saying, Oh, why couldn't we get this play? Like Inter was um linked to Scalvini today and people are getting mad. I'm like, This is it, man. This 
Yeah, that's the situation we're in. That's now. don't complain, like complain, but like don't be surprised. That's when people last well, this week were like, "Oh, I said it before I left." If there will be a plea deal, people say, "Oh, look what the club done! Amazing job!" And we'll see it as a win. Celebrate, uh, reposting tweets of players, uh, random people saying, "Oh, Serie B." I'm like, we lost. Like we lost 100 million euro. There's no win in this. You no. might be relieved that it's over, but we took a big fat out. Yeah. Like the club yeah. took a big fat L. We lost 100 million euros. You're losing Vlaovic and you're losing out on players that could be the future for many, many years to come. Yeah. Now, do I, do we need Scalvini for 40 mil? I don't think that's. No, I'm just saying the player, like we're not. In, oh, I get Yeah, it. we're not like linked with Scalvini anymore. It's like yeah, Scamac yeah. alone or Fratesi. Like you said, how Locatelli came. Fratesi, we could probably get from Carnavale and Sassuolo. Two year loan deal, fucking 35 million. <laughs> I have nothing against Fratesi, but I don't. He's not one of. Like, when if we sign pa- Parisi, I would be like, okay, I'm I'm still excited, you know, because I, I think he can develop in a very, very good player. But if we get Fratesi, I don't see us improving no. that much, if that makes sense. I think no. he will do a job, but I'm looking at Locatelli at the same way, like doing a job. Like, yeah. it's not flashy it's not spectacular it's, it's not, not elevating our, our, our squad wow it's not worthy of the hype he gets at this moment no. in time you know so um but i fully understand why these things are but that's why i'm like keep junior maybe slowly because when those players on are in possession i'm kind of excited even though it, it's very raw it doesn't yeah. always come off which makes sense because they never play <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they get minutes here and there. Then get don't see the pitch for a couple of games, so it's very they, hard. They sign for the first team and then they go freaking ghost for <laughs> for a couple yeah. months. So, um, but I, I'm I, I don't know, man. I it's gonna be very, especially the start of the transfer window is gonna be very strange because you will hear it's gonna be quiet, very bad things yeah. about. Players leaving, being linked, like it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be very depressing. You're gonna, and then, you're gonna hear every one of our best players linked to ghost. Like you're gonna hear Kiesa going somewhere. You're gonna hear well, Vlavic, We know it's gone. Bremer is gonna go linked to go somewhere. Locatelli's even gonna be linked to go somewhere. And I think yeah, that's it I don't think in terms of the leaving, hype. No, 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 no. That's the that's what's gonna happen at yeah. the start, I believe, until everything settles. Yeah, probably sell Vlaovic and they go from there. Yeah. basically. Uh, but it will take time. As of now, there's no coach, no sporting director. Yep. I think that needs to resolve first. Hopefully, read really quickly. Like in a deal situation, next week you hear, okay, it's not going to be Allegri. It's going to be Juntoli. And the following 10 days, we will announce the next coach yeah. in an ideal world. In the I- yeah, And that is what, the, June 20th? The, the coaches we're linked with, they're all tied to a club besides Tudor. Yeah, and Conte, but I don't think Conte is an option. So, is it one hundred percent? Because it's all setting up for Tudor, basically. <laughs> it, yeah, because <laughs> if, if it's Conte coming back, Vlavic isn't like he'll he'll say to the board, "You can't sell that guy." Like, there's already going to be beef at the beginning if you bring Conte back. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to so, be. Conte, yeah, but I don't. It can't I think be. it's all for now. It's all for Tudor. Like he left. He said, "I made this yeah. decision for professional and personal reasons." Not sure what that means, uh, but he didn't say I'm taking sabbatical year whatsoever. Why would he leave Marseille? Uh, like it's very strange. Um, then the news comes out they have already held talks with him. But he's still coaching on Sunday, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, 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 he's okay, leaving yeah. after the season. Yeah, yeah. Like not now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's it's a very. I don't know. It's very strange. Like all of this is very very uh, very very strange. Uh, if it's Tudor, who do you pluck from Marseille? Don't say like Sanchez or don't say. <laughs> Guendouzi. Oh my God. Honestly, a I fun one, like fun but weird, would be to go get Nuno Tavares. You can't defend at all, but that's a fun one. No, nah, he's terrible. <laughs> but but he scores a lot of goals and it's fun. <laughs> yeah, but. It's I, an oh adventure with him. Every time I watch him play, he gets cooked. If it's oh, at yeah. Arsenal or like he's. Oh my God. I, can't, I cannot deal with that. Um, but is he better than Sandro? I, uh, defensively, no. <laughs> like, they're all crap. So, uh, uh, no. Uh, if you went uh, down this list, like who who do we like? Because he might want to bring someone over. Oh, Malinovsky. 
Yeah, it's not. <laughs> wow. I don't no know. Way. This is a horrible squad. I still like Guendouzi as a player. I mean, yeah, he's a good engine. But I think they just bought yeah, him for a, a lot of money. Like they yeah, just paid out, like paid he, out. Yeah, he will do a job like Rabiot, yeah. but he will be more involved. Like he's, like you said, he's an engine. Yeah. Well, they got but that Unai that, guy from Morocco. Nah. Yeah. He had no. a good World Cup, but nah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Gunduzi or bust. <laughs> Valentin <laughs> Rangier. Wow. Chinese under. Alexis Sanchez. Yeah. No, it's uh, oof. Milik, maybe Milik. Oh yeah, Milik. <laughs> Crazy. Um, he got that team into third place in France. I know it's not the best quality all, always, but. Like well, I, saw, I saw people saying he, he's done a worse job than expected because they were a worse, worse job? last season. Last season they had more points, one more, two more points, and they were in the Champions League, and they're not now. They're in the Champions League. They're third. It's that, isn't that like? Like directly last season, they finished second, I guess. I think. Oh, yeah, Champions League spots third for here. Whatever. Yeah. Well, I know you're gonna do a video on coaching, yeah. Coaches, so I, I am spoil it, but do you want stay to stay tuned? Do I, yeah, I can, I can, do. Not, not, everyone, not everyone's gonna watch this, not everyone's gonna watch the coaching video. So no, but well don't say, yeah, I'll take anyone, but uh, besides, I will take anyone, like, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, um, are you like if you get to the already, like, yeah, or like. Yeah, Allegri's gone, but like this is still not this is not it. Um, because that's also not good. I agree with you. That's also not the right approach. But um, I think if Tudor comes, I don't want to. Like, this is gonna sound like cliche all over again, but he will Passion install. FC? What's up? Passion FC. No, 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 not pa- like kinda, but like he will <laughs> install a new way of thinking. Different to Allegri because Allegri says goal, sit back. Two doors more, go, 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 go. Right? It's it's he has the same formation as Mourinho, the three, four, two, one or whatever Christmas like, yeah, yeah, kind of thing going. Um, two midfielders. He needs an engine guy, so Rabio like he needs a player, like Fajoli. Let's say Moretti are gonna struggle to play in the system unless they play further forward as the part of the two closer to the forward. If two door comes, if you're looking to go with youth, which we have to, we're in that state and two door is coming in. I'm scared for those two, unless they adapt to being able to play just under the forward. Okay. So (laughs) potential two big, (laughs) potential to like quote unquote golden boys are in trouble because that's what uh, it's my Mendoza. opinion yeah yeah um yeah I'm, I'm also not one of, like i'm like i'm shit scared to be honest if he comes and, and those guys are just gonna be phased out because it's gonna be locatelli who's one of the midfielders 100 percent. oh 100 percent. of like who else is there is it like Ravella is almost deemed useless unless you convert him into a midfield pivot, not a holder, and then what? Because he's busy enough. Like he'll move, he'll get around yeah. the field enough. But like, what's his strength? It's protecting and getting the ball, moving it. Yeah, because we were talking, bringing him. He can play, like he can free up Pocatelli. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I just, I, I don't want the club to make any like rash decisions. Like this needs to be spot on. Yeah. Like exactly. This needs to be something for two, three years, you know, to get us up there again. Yep. To build a, a good, solid foundation. And maybe up to a point where, like, you can see, okay, now it's the max. We got the max out of it. Well, now we need to level up, you know. Next yep. one up, if if he doesn't take the step as a coach, you know. Next yep. one up, this is the base. Uh, you now basically put the frosting on top of it, of it and let's go. But again, yep. when you – because when I hear Mota – Oh, dude, that, like that guy's going to, he's going to, ah, that's probably. I like what he does. It's better than Tudor in the sense that he can work with more. Yeah, that's, my yeah. Point. I, I like the way Bologna play, but even Paladino, like. Yeah. Same. And then you hear Conte, that's completely opposite, you know. Yeah. Some players are screwed. 
absolutely screwed when if he joins. Um, and that's about it, like name name wise. Yeah, those are the names out there. It's not going to be Luis Enrique, like people. No, 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 or no, Sitana, no, no, no. One of like that's not going to no. happen. These things. It's it's going to be one of those guys, Italiano, same. But as of now, it makes for the club. Sans is going to be Tudor because well, he's free. It's easy. You come yeah. in. You don't need to talk with the club. Yeah. All those things. He knows the club because he has coached the club with Pirlo. You yep. know, so it all makes quote unquote sense for the club to be like, this is easy. And they love taking the easy way out. They do, and that's my that's my biggest fear. So because I with Tudor, I don't have an issue, you know, in terms of who he is as a as a coach. Yeah. What he stands for. All those things. Because I I want I, I, the players we have in the squad, I do believe they will respect them because we don't have oh, yeah. quote unquote stars. You might say Pogba. But he cannot sit I there totally and be like, I don't want this. <laughs> but after, yeah, but like after the season, he has, yeah, like he cannot sit there and be like, no. I'm not doing this. Like he, he will do whatever. <laughs> and yeah. Say, but like Bremer hasn't, Bremer went from, I don't know, who was the coach at Juric? Uh, no, no, Juric. Uh, Didn't he have Mazzari at one point? At, yeah. Yeah. Adam. So he cannot be there and be yeah. like, who's who's this? Like, so it's not about players. And the players in there, Fajoli, Locatelli, they just, do whatever to play for whatever yeah. the badge. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think that's an issue. I don't think this club needs a big figure. I don't no, think I they don't need think so either. That, or these players. I think they need somebody who can who can they who who trusts them, <laughs> who doesn't call them out in the media. Yeah. Doesn't say mid season at Locatelli wasn't actually a starting midfielder for me, but everybody's injured, so here you go. Yeah. Like uh, that's not gonna help. Like they need somebody to just not be their friend, but like actually put some trust because nobody like everybody is playing without trust besides Gatti for some reason <laughs> all the yeah. rest are just out there because well they need to be out there that's how I feel you know there's yeah. no joy there's no like, even friendship on the field like it feels like they're all completely disconnected from e each other like it feels very off like off yeah. like even against Milan I was like I know it's done, but what what am I even watching? <laughs> Up to a point where I'm like, the season is done. Why are you playing these players? Just throw in the kids. Let them pl let them play. Yeah. The season is over, and you're still playing Kostic. And you I'm should like, see you why? should see the reported lineups for Sunday. <laughs> it's I'm like, why? Ra Rabio, Rabio, and Di Maria are still like in like the these players lineups. are out. Yeah. These players are gone. Let the kids let them play let, yep. them, let them just play like it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and i don't know man like you said it needs to be a fresh start but it shouldn't be just oh he's gone whatever you know you know <laughs> another thing is in. if allegri was to go and one of these dudes does come do come in and i know the club has a money issue but let's say tudor walks in and he sees oh zakaria wow Oh, I forgot about him. That's, he will bring in money. No, he's he'll, gone. <laughs> okay, he'll bring in money. But what if, what if Tudor walks in and says, I want to keep Dennis? I think the club will be like, you can keep Rovella. Dennis will give us around 20 mil. I know. Then I, I think w when I think these things will be discussed w before they sign a contract. I think they will lay out everything. So, so in terms of e Igor comes in, talks to Alkin and Gentoli and says, What's the squad going to look like? Like, I would walk in there saying, I, what am I dealing with? <laughs> I think they will give him a list with, you know, these 10 players are on the transfer list. Like, you can yeah. say no, but, like, if an offer comes in, they're gone, you know. Okay. Up to a point where we get this amount of money. Something like that, yeah. you know. And probably Zachary, Arthur on loan, whatever. McKenny coming yeah, back. McKen yeah, Like, these McKenny. players will probably be on the list. If you want to keep him, maybe if by any accident <laughs> they're still here in august it is what it is but if offer comes in these are the players we're going to sacrifice we're not going to sell i'm saying fajoli but because an offer come, came in for fajoli not mckenny we'll try to push out mckenny if that makes yeah. sense yeah, yeah, yeah that's what i believe will happen that's tough or for like a coach to should, come in to do happen that's tough for it a coach tough. to come. yeah not i'm it not saying tough. i'm not saying like a like a paladino if he was to come in or tiago mota it's like you guys have no like pedigree here but for like Tudor barely has a pedigree but he's been at the club before coach Marseille to a decent season I'm gonna say decent season I don't care what they say like you made Champions League with that fucking Alexis Sanchez at 36 years old 
you did well. <laughs> like, come on. Um, if that if he walks in and he's like, oh, like I would come in a little bit of like, oh God, what's happening here? What am I getting myself oh, yeah. into? Oh yeah, for sure. But and and that's why think... that's why Juventus is looking at these inexperienced yeah. coaches. Imagine Antonio Conte came and walked in and <laughs> and and Gentoli says, Hey, here's a list of players on the transfer market and Conte looks Ruff, what are we talking about here? I want Vlavic, I want Zakari, I want like because you know Conte would want Zakaria. Yeah. You know hundred percent that guy would want Zakaria. So not Arthur, not Arthur McKenney, because those guys those guys can't even run for twenty minutes. But um oh, I, I was told McKenney was uh not the issue. Well, he's not the. He's part of the issue. But he's he's just not good. Also, he's not can, I, good. can we clarify something before we move on with McKenny? If Leeds were seventeenth, were they obligated to buy him for thirty-four mil? Um, you would hope so because they were never going to do it. <laughs> I don't think they were officially. Oh, okay. Because I... it was an option, basically. Cause... If they were relegated, it was absolutely gone. They, yeah. uh, something like that. Because I've seen very conflicting reports. Yeah, I was going to say, I was rooting for Leeds to go down because it was funny. But in hindsight, if they were 17th and they had to pay for it, I'd be egg on my face. I'd be, oh, shit, that sucks. <laughs> but if they, Yeah, if some reports were saying yes, but I, I saw an article in The Athletic saying it wasn't an obligation. It was never, 100%. okay. okay it was more like they're going to they're gonna do it, but yeah. the way he played, no way they were going to do it. Yeah. So now you're looking at expected. Now you're looking at okay. Well, you can probably math this out a bit. We can do some math, and then we'll probably wrap it up soon. Um, Vlavic can get you. Let, let's go on the cheaper scale, sixty mil. Let's just go cheaper, because we know Byron's coming. They're sniffing around. You said Zakari can get us twenty. I'm pushing it. Not you, oh, is, is that, is that push? Okay. Let, yeah. Okay. Let, let, let's let's put every worst case scenario. So 15 for Zakaria, 60 for Vlavic, 15 for McKenny. I'm going to say 20 because he's 20 American. Because, yeah, because some, some, weird, some weird reason that he's better than Zakaria. Okay. So that's 95 mil. If you get Pellegrini to go to Lazio for 10, 105 mil. What else are we talking about here? We get all the wages cleared. Is that enough? I think that can do the trick. Arthur's wages, can... you, you're going to cancel his contract or whatever happens, he's going to go on loan again. No, 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 cancel Sir Romeo because that's impossible on the okay. books. It's, it's way too much. Out. Okay. It's way too much. Like, it, okay. it, it cannot be like a suicide. Okay. So let's just say all that, all the wages and all, and those three players get so four, all, I included Pellegrini. Is that enough? I think that's, I think that could do the trick. Before you have to start will... thinking of selling like a Chiesa. Yeah, I think that will do the trick because the squad okay. will be thinner without Europe. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I do believe that could kind of do the trick to bring back a Cambiasso Rovella. Yeah. Maybe sign a Fratesi and yeah. maybe get a Parisi on a good Like, I'm just saying, it's like these yeah, type yeah. of players. Yeah, yeah. But you still need a striker. And that's the, where the loan part, I believe, comes in. That you know? loan Skamaka. That's what's going to happen then. You know what it is? I still, I like. If Tudor comes in and I don't want to come up, I think he can do a good job. But 100%. It, because I think his hold up play is, is pretty good. You know, he's very tidy. He's very strong. Like, yeah. he doesn't get bullied off the ball. But we're missing an out and out goal scorer, which yep. you might say Vlaovic wasn't, but he, he is. But for some reason, it wasn't working this season. That's what we're missing. And on the right, Cuadrado might be gone. Di Maria is gone. Sully is not enough. So that's a big question mark as well. It would have to be Cambiasso. Like that can, yeah, that cannot be, the, <laughs> cannot be the case. Like you need something. Yeah, I don't it, know what it is. It can't be but Cambiasso they need to and do it some magic. It can't be Cambiasso and Barbieri. Like together, I'm just saying it can't be those two deputizing no. each other. No, but just on the right wing, like Di Maria, like. Oh, I was like, if you're doing two doors, thing, the right forward or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sanchez role. To, yeah, you need to. You need to have. It might be Sule. I, I'm not. Like, it might be Moretti. Whatever. Who? Moretti. Oh, Jesus. No, I, I don't think he can do that. No, I, I'm not saying he can either. But like, where are you gonna? You can't, he's not the engine. Two midfield engine. Okay. Do you yeah, think he I've is? Seen, 
No, no. But I've seen Miretti playing uh, close. I don't think he, like uh, every time he played them uh, behind the striker or whatever, it might, it made my eyes bleed. I, I agree. Know, it, it, he's never that him. guy. He, he will never be that guy. He's not him. Um, but like these are the type of deals you probably need to do. Um, maybe look at Southampton and Leeds. They went down. Uh, such as Southampton. Max Aronson, dude. I, I would get him if he was cheap. If he was cheap, yeah. But he like he's a crazy bastard when he's around with the ball. You need some type of... He's like Illing, but a little bit tidier. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like, or, man, I'm going to say it again. Sign Tielemans. Yeah, he's on a free, but like he... I, I, think... I know. <laughs> this is where we are now, though. I think uh, I think I think he will have better offers, money wise. And all oh, probably. Stuff. If but if no Premier League goes for it or club goes for him, I think, I think it will be Tottenham. So one of those teams going for go will go for him. Okay. Well, I think it's, it's one of those teams. Yeah. It's not Arsenal. It's not going to be Manu. It's not going to no. be Chelsea. If so it's, it's Tottenham and Juventus, mm. Newcastle. Yeah. Like those teams. Well, Newcastle, you, you jump at yeah Newcastle, Castle, you jump yeah, at that opportunity. Go. I looked you at their Twitter account and they posted the, what their new facility looks like. I'm like, this is a, this is a proper project. Good for them. Yeah, they <laughs> they have money. Yeah, and they got Champions League with a team that's that's it's not, it's not a, it's not good enough than the other teams who haven't made it. I will say that. I know, but like they did everything right. Like the coach, the the backroom staff, the coaching's right. Even the players they brought that's in good. Are, are good. Yeah, like they're not Isak, class. They're Gimaraj, good. Gimaraj, Botman, like they're all good. Yeah. They're doing. They're doing a. They're doing a great. They're not doing the city way when they're buying, no. Rubinho and all those players. You know, messing up until they finally got it right. They're spending you know? a bunch of money though. Well, not a bunch. They're spending a lot of money, good money, on the right players. Like Isak was yeah. seventy mil. Yeah. 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 I, I know. Botman yeah. was a lot of money as well. Botman was almost forty. So like they're spending fair amounts of money, but it's all. It's like you said. It's not Rubinho. It's not. Uh, Added by R. <laughs> yeah. Tevez. Um, they, were, well, they were doing things. Okay, Tevez was maybe, but they were doing things completely different. You yeah. Know, they're taking their time. Yeah. City took their time after they wasted too much money. Yeah. Yeah. But. Let's you got to look at some see. bargain. Um, who, who got Raleigh in Serie A? Or is it, is it still on? Like, I know Sampdoria did. Verona and Spezia are battling it out. Is Spezia... Some Doria is down. Oh, yeah. Cremonese is cooked. Some Doria is cooked. I knew it. I knew some Doria yeah, you was did. You called it from the beginning. I said the real finish like 12th or like something. I last place or 19th. You, you put them 20th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, that squad was terrible. That was a terrible squad. Um, like, you can't even poach any of these... Like, Nobody's worth poaching on these teams. They, but you got to go no. dumpster diving this year, this summer, if you go and get people. That's the reality of Juventus right now. Yeah, it is. You thought, we, we, we thought it was bad last year when we were like, oh, Milik, oh, Paredes, <laughs> oh, uh, two free transfers, and what else? What else? Kostic. Like, we thought that was bad. This is going to be significantly <laughs> worse this summer. It could be. Significant. And we're selling big players. It's not like you sold Dodlet and then you got Bremer and some of these very average players. You're, you're selling Vlavic and you're getting less than that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be fun doing Long videos. Long summer. My coach's corner, Morton Hillman from <laughs> Lecce. <laughs> this is what he does well. Um, he kicks a ball and he did decent in Serie A. For a really bad team. Welcome, for Morton. For a couple of months. Yeah. Not even a year. Yeah. Welcome, Morton Hillman. Yeah, it's not going to happen. We're, we don't have 50 mil. <laughs> so, <laughs> if somebody pays 50, oh my God. I saw Mason Mount going for like 85 million euros. I couldn't believe what's yeah. happening. Like, what the hell is happening? Dude, the Premier Mason League. Mason Mount. The Premier League is a, is a different league. It's like, just like the English Rabio. When I see him play, I'm like, what the hell? What, what yeah. do you do? Yeah. Like what? I, it's unbelievable. He, he presses well. He, he's. I saw. A, <laughs> I, I saw another rumor that was wild. Also in the Premier League. 
I forgot. It was all another English player. I'm like, what? Oh, it's center back from Crystal Palace. Um, Gehi? Yeah. Mark Gehi, 60 yeah. mil. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Yeah. 60 mil or uh, the right uh, the right forward. Um, Olize. Yeah. Or Ezzy. 40, uh, 45. 55 mil. I'm like, okay. <laughs> They're good, but like, what? Like, I don't, I don't. I don't get these prizes. But I'm then really and then you'll see like a, a Chelsea fan or whatever saying 65 for Leal, that's too much. Oh yeah, that was, that was good times. <laughs> no, I'm like, you know what I mean? Like the Olize, yeah, 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 55 will pay that. 65 for Leal, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Mason Mount thing is just, wow. Like, just wow. Yeah, it's insane. Like he is... He is Davide Fertesi. He is an engine that presses nicely. That can score a couple of goals here and there. Yeah, yeah. 80 mil, yeah, but uh, whatever. One's 85 mil because he's got a Champions League assist against no midfielders on Man City. And Davide Fertesi stuck at Sassuolo. That's the difference between Mount and Fertesi. In my opinion, like, I don't think Mason Mount is great at all but no, it is what just, it is he's like he's he's not 85 mil like no he's he, he's a cobham boy he's a he's chelsea through and through but he's yeah whatever he's just not good <laughs> but like just to say these these are the prices out there yeah um he's going more for we than we sold the late yep <laughs> speaking about <laughs> potential transfers and, and targets we will be doing our next podcast i think is are we starting season three in July? Season three starts. Um, hmm, that's a good question. Let's think about that. Let, let's start it in July because that makes more sense. That's best. It, that yeah. makes because then the season is kind of kicking off with yeah. training camp and stuff. That makes yeah. more sense. So the end of season two is coming at the end of June this month. Um, next episode or next podcast, we will be talking about. Transfer targets. Remember how I made a list last year, and we, Ali and I, identified players who could be good, could uh, make a difference, could potentially even join. Um, we're going to do the same thing for next week, uh, next show, when we have departments this time. I think we layered it or we organized it a bit better. We have defenders, uh, midfielders, attackers, because I don't think any goalkeepers leaving because Chesney just resigned and Perrine's not going anywhere. So I didn't. I didn't really touch the goalkeeping uh, department, but defenders, midfielders, attackers, nine players in each list. So stay tuned for yeah. that. It's they're categorized as dream signings, potential dream signings, realistic signings, and what? What was the other category we had? Um, I forgot. Wait, dream, realistic, and something else. Yeah, uh, I'll take a look. What was it? Steals. 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 Yeah. So there you go. So those are three categories. Stay tuned for that next week. Um, but this one, if you don't have anything else to say, I actually put some funny names, though, to be honest, on those lists. I'm sorry. But <laughs> if, you, if you have anything else to say, say it now or forever hold your peace. I have nothing else to say. Um, I'm just mentally preparing for, do my, for doing my last match reaction. No idea yeah. what I'm going to discuss. Um, I'll find something to, to moan about. I'm going to be sure. honest. I think this might be the first game I don't watch in years. Um, it depends because no, I will I will watch it, but it depends. Like, it's my wife's like second part of her birthday, so that's why I, I'm like I don't really care. The team over here can <laughs> can win the can still win the league on the last like three teams can win the league in Belgium the on the last day. Oh, in Belgium, okay, okay. On the last that's day, fun. three teams. That's cool. So if they win, I might be out. For, oh, for if your half. hometown team wins, yeah, it might be that's out cool. for the first half. So that's cool. That's, but I will find something to moan about. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Watch if you like, you want to enjoy that game. Go ahead. I don't think I'll be watching it. Like I said, first time in like years, I won't be watching a game. It might be on my phone. Who knows? <laughs> um, during the party, but like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps our channel grow. Um, this is season two of our podcast ending pretty soon um 
if you have any suggestions for next year's podcast, that'd be let us know in the comments section below. Anything we had to say today that you don't agree with or you do agree with, let us know in the comments as well. Um, we will answer or, or discuss with you if if you guys have good points. So how about that? Follow Bianca Neri Zone on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Bianca Neri Zone and all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time. Ciao.